Are you tired of looking for the matching hairpin in a jumbled pile of hair accessories? Do you want to go from this to this? We have an easy solution. Hey girls, in this video, we are going to teach you how to make a headband organizer that is easy to make and takes less than 30 minutes. Moreover, it's made from materials that you probably already have at home. So let's get started. Things you will need. A wooden stick, approximately 10 to 15 inches long. Two old t-shirts that you no longer wear. A pair of sharp scissors. Needle and thread. Fabric glue. Some rhinestones to decorate. Make sure your t-shirts are clean and not crumpled. Now we are going to work with one t-shirt at a time. So let's keep the other one aside. Let's align the seam of the t-shirt and cut away the seam. Keep this aside to use later. This is the stick we are going to use to wrap the strips of our t-shirt around and this will be the base of our headband organizer. Now we are using a dandia stick which is about 15 inches long. So to be able to cover the entire stick with the strips of the t-shirt, the body of the t-shirt should be at least 15 inches long. The distance between the seam of the sleeve and the uh, seam in the end of the t-shirt should be at least 15 inches long. We should have at least 15 inches of each t-shirt so that we don't fall short. For the ease of cutting, we have folded the t-shirt in half. Now we have already cut 8 strips and we are going to keep the remaining t-shirt aside to cut strips as and when required. Now let us repeat the process with the other t-shirt as well. Let us fold the t-shirt in half, align the seam and cut away and keep the seam part aside. Cut the body into 1 inch wide strips. After the strips are cut and ready, we will give them a nice trim to cut any rough edges. Now from this large loop, we are going to make strips by cutting the seam on one end only like this. Now pull the strip from both the ends to make it sturdy and this gives the strip some strength and makes it like a rope. Once all the strips are cut, pulled and ready, now we are going to knot them on our dandia stick. Previously we had kept the seam ends of the t-shirt aside, we will use them and tie them on one end to give us a margin to make a handle later. Now we will start knotting the strips on the dandia stick alternating between pink and white. First we'll use a pink strip. Now we'll start knotting this. Take the seam part behind the stick and knot like this. Tighten and adjust the knot and bring them towards the end like this. And similarly we'll repeat with the white as well. Now we are done with the knotting process. We had to use all the 8 strips and cut 2 more strips of pink and white. Totally 10 strips of pink and 10 strips of white we have used. Let us align the strips properly so that the dandia stick is not seen from below. Let us make our handle using the seam ends of the t-shirt that we had tied at the end and let us knot them at a distance of about half inch like this. After the handle is made, we will use a small pink strip to create a loop in the center of the handle which we will use to hang the headband organizer. Now once again straighten all the strips, pull if you feel the strips are not tight enough and align them properly and cut the ends off to make them as neat as possible. Now we will create a loose braid using the three center strips. And if you find any printed edge of the t-shirt, roll it inside to make the braid neat. 
we will make a loose braid so that we can put our hair bands in between the loops and at the end of the braid we'll create a knot like this so this is where we are going to put all our hair bands we will create loops and braids as we want decorate the headband organizer as you wish we have made these flowers using the remaining part of the t-shirts in our next video we will teach you how to make these flowers now your hairband organizer is ready to hang any kind of hair accessories that you have right from hair ties to hair bands to hair pins you can hang almost any kind of hair accessory on this hope this video was useful and i'm sure you're going to make one for yourself if you make this please send a photo of it on our facebook page the links are in the description if you have any questions please write them in the comment section below also let us know what other videos you would like to see on our channels